What is up, Shoe Tube? This is LeBron James on the Hoodrich Hall, where you do a Hoodrich review on the LeBron Soldier 9. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of the Hoodrich Hall. This is going to be a Hoodrich review, and we're going to review this model, the Soldier Line, LeBron Soldier 9. Why am I reviewing this? Well, I just happened to come across these. Uh, a buddy of mine uh, hooked me up, so shout out to him, Matt the Mendem for hooking me up with the soldiers. Uh, I did get a chance to try these out, not like full game or nothing, but doing doing some drills and stuff on the court outdoors. And I must say, I am thoroughly impressed with this. Um, let's go with uh, the lockdown. Uh, they fit true to size, and I read an article that... They'll probably be re-releasing these soldiers, and they have tons of colorways. Um, they're going to be re-releasing these, uh, I think, in 2023. So we'll see if uh, Nike go ahead and drop some soldiers. But uh, these, the lockdown is good. The cushioning is good. The traction is beast. This traction, 10 to 10. The lockdown and stability is amazing. So... You could probably go online and get yourself a used pair, old pair, whatever, uh, 40 bucks, 30, 40 bucks, maybe 60, I don't know, but they're definitely, you would want to go true to size and you want a good outdoor, indoor hoop shoe. This is it, and it, it's made for everybody, big guys, small guards. I just, it's amazing how the strap and everything works with this. Um, what you're going to get. On the forefoot is you're gonna get the air zoom here, uh, air zoom pod in the back. You're gonna get this Phylon midsole, and you got the shank. You're not gonna roll off of this thing, I'm gonna tell you that right now, because the way these straps crisscross and come about is absolutely amazing, but we'll look at it in the Hoodrich Vision. Um, I wanna say that it is difficult to put your foot into these, because this only goes opening so so much. Uh, other than that, this is a dope shoe, guys. Um, if you're looking for something and not trying to break the bank, this is where it's at. And if they're doing a re-release in 2023, then I would probably definitely cop and just get the colorway you want. Also, you can see that visible outrigger there. It's just amazing. Let's go ahead and take a look at them in the Hood Rich Vision, all right? Ron James. Welcome to the Hoodrich Vision. It's James Gang. Gang Gang. Anyways, guys, let's take a closer look. Here, I'll get one of each colorway of the LeBron Soldier 9. So first, we're going to look at these straps here. Goodness. Give me some room. Give me some room. And for a LeBron shoe, it's actually fairly light. Uh, it's probably because of this mesh material here. And you can see the fuse right here on the toe. So for you toe draggers, we got that protection there. Like the Phylon midsole. You got your pods front and back. You also got these hexagon pads. And I don't know, man. They just don't make outsoles like this anymore. Um, this, this thing will last. There's no heel drag. Nothing like that. And I was, I was going hard. I mean, I'm a heavy dude. I'm over 200 pounds, you know. I'm jumping around. Uh, now the thing is... Like I said, it's it's hard to get into. Most you can do is loosen the strap up here, and that's all it's gonna go. So you kinda gotta put your foot down and then pull up on this. But yeah, uh, let's take a look. I'll go, let's go with the right shoe, left shoe. So when you undo the strap on the tongue here, you got LeBron's name right there. So on the right shoe, you got a two right there with that, uh, sticking to that theme of pattern geometric shapes and whatnot in the two. You got your classic LJ crown logo there. There's more of those triangles and such there. Illuminati, I don't know. You can see the fly wire underneath there fusing through. So when you do pull in, you see the fly wire move. You are getting a crisscross lockdown on your foot. Your forefoot around your ankle in the back. You see the heel back there, and there's more of the pattern, geometric shapes. You can see where the straps connect here. And as you pull this thing tight, 
you you're getting locked in just to let you know both here you get the same effect coming across the forefoot into the midfoot and then the top is your ankle locked down uh casual wear not so much uh i wouldn't wear these off court they just it's not my style not really something i would just rock casually but that's my opinion um far as hooping and functionality or you got maybe you had a recent ankle injury or you just you're sensitive these you would feel very secure the support is amazing in these um, you got your swoosh here on the top strap we'll come around here to the midsole you can see a little even the grip goes up here a little bit onto the toes here and there you got your soldier branding we'll go around to the back the heel look at that heel cup very solid all this very very tight and you go around the medial i mean lateral side and you'll see this shank plate goes all the way up here for your containment and you got this fuse overlay all through here and then you got your mesh and this is just a good shoe guys i feel like it's slept on if you're a hooper maybe it's not slept on also on the heel in the back you can see that geometric patterns there I don't know what the insole would look like, but uh, it's faded out. But we'll put something on the screen if I can find it. But yeah, guys, this is a good shoe. We got the big old Nike swoosh there. Here he gets his air zoom pointing to the front and the back. And so the the cushioning, I would I would give it. It's it's good. It's a good cushioning. I, I thought it'd be mediocre, but it's decent. Uh, I'm really liking these. Here's the all blackout right here uh, i won't go over the details it's the same but the right shoe has the three so when you got them next to each other you got the, you got the two three right there 23 even though he's wearing his old number again but we'll shut this down but this is just a great shoe with great lockdown and it's just they put they put everything in the right places you know what i mean like everything's in the right spot Oh, I can't pull this for some reason. There it goes. Just look at how that strap goes up and around and locks you in nice and tight. You are not going anywhere. Breathability, I thought the breathability would be better, but this is completely closed off. Um, there's no break-in time. It's very soft. Look at that. You got flexibility, heel-to-toe transition, pretty decent. They're not clunky. This, I would, I'm highly recommending the LeBron Soldier, y'all. Uh, let's go to the on foot. Not that I wear them casually, just so you can see what they would look like on foot. I think these originally released back in July 3rd, 2015. So right before 4th of July, back in 2015. But a great shoe, guys. Let's go on to the on foot. James Gang.
right, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like. If you're not subscribed, subscribe right now. Uh, I've been uh, I've been slacking a little bit. Uh, I'm trying to do the two, three days, whatever. But don't forget to eat your Wheaties. I'll catch up. We'll do like a burst uploads. But I just definitely wanted to do the soldier. The soldier shoe. This is the soldier nine, by the way. Is This is great. So if they do re-release these guys, there's going to be some dope colorways. And this is going to be a good court shoe. So a lot of these, I guess back in the day, back in the day, like 2015, not that far back. But I mean... This this was a go-to shoe. You, and you're not having to like drop 130 bucks. Well, probably the re-release they will drop them 130, 150. Who knows? They're always out there. Nike. Why Nike? But thanks again for watching the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, got any questions? Uh, go ahead and leave me comments below. I'll respond to them as soon as I can. But like I said, true to size. The fit is true to size. The comf comfortability is a little bit above average. The cushioning, a little bit above average. Um, the grip, off the charts. 10 to 10, the grip. The support, same thing, 10 to 10. You're locked down. There's no heel slippage. You're not coming off that footbed. Now, I'm a big dude. And just the way this is strapping you in and the way in, in the counter... You're going to feel comfortable. You're not going to roll your ankle on that, okay? Unless somebody really crosses you up and takes your ankles, you'll survive. It'll keep you from rolling. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you on the next video. The top five's coming.